Good morning and welcome. Welcome to Yoga Solutions with me, Mark J. Aquaviva. Um, yes, today I, th I thought I would just um, offer you a little something for triangle pose. I, I was uh, having a go at it today and um, I remembered how difficult it was early days. Um, and the difficulty was in the front leg hip. Um, most people don't really notice it. They just see it as part of the effort it required to do the posture. But it's actually um, you know, letting go of the front leg hip is one of the hardest things to do. And it leads to a radically different experience of the posture. So I thought I'd, I'd uh, give you something along those lines. So here we go. Let's um, get the uh, different view on. That'll do. Okay. So it might not, um, oh, let me get the sound better. It might be slightly better sound quality. Um, yes, it, it might not be the, the usual triangle shape that you're used to. Most people, most people are involved with uh, with uh, a, a very wide angle thing where they sort of do that and then make a shape. Um, I, that, that's not my priority. You can turn it into that if you if you like. Um, but my, um, the rules for me around how to uh, find ease in the posture and uh, the wider stride things it's kind of it's harder to not put a distortion into the base of the spine and, and the, the uh, sacroiliac problems is something that happens quite regularly for many uh, dedicated yoga practitioners simply because they they hang off the um, uh, the sacrum in their postures and then sort of haul their weight up above, from it and uh, that, that can cause some problems. So anyway, a way of approaching that will change the, the quality of your base. If you, if you start with a, a shortish stride and actually start in a kind of a kneeling position or a running start, if you like, yeah, so that you can build this up from the ground. And the first part is to try and relax your weight because uh, you know that, that that's what asana means it, it, it means a comfortable seat which implies you should be able to relax and feel supported you see so um the the propensity to hold yourself up is is kind of in the way of um the actual experience of the yoga uh, or what the posture, posture is supposed to feel like and it might be why um uh, in Iyengu yoga, you use blocks and all sorts of props and bells and whistles to keep yourself in place. But uh, I, uh, you can simply take away that sort of ambition to do the posture and build it up, build it up from the ground and see if you can find a way of doing it away, in a way that doesn't require that you hold your weight up with your spine. That, that's my bottom line um, kind of rule of thumb. If you can let go into a posture and you're not having to hold your weight up with your neck or your lower back, you probably find some found something very useful. Okay, so um, we're gonna. And then uh, this is the way I actually learnt triangles uh, with uh, Pete Blackaby, starting this sort of running stance and then build, build it up from there. And you have a shorter start, so it's more akin to uh, simply. Um, standing in a forward bench, you know, um, with one leg forwards. But uh, what I'd like you to do is to settle your weight down, and you can use your arm over the thigh to do that. Be on the front of the front foot, so the front foot is actively involved in supporting you. I don't mean hold the heel up and be heavy on the front foot. I mean use the front foot for support, as in you're actively touching the ground and then resting your weight into that point of contact. When you've done that, you take the breath, relaxing your weight. When you release the breath, it's the time to roll onto the back foot to allow yourself to come up. And you try and stay release. Now the problem people will feel is a tension and tightness in the back of the um, back of the front leg, and then and, uh, and a sort of uh, compression around the hip. Because basically, what you're doing is you're trying to put your weight forwards over that leg and then your foot has to push back against it. So it's actually catching your weight around your hip. 
Now, to simply to come out of that, you can turn this into a kind of squatting position where you're reliant more on the back leg, on the back foot. So you need to bend the back knee so you can sit your weight towards it. And then when you've got that, this leg can relax back at the thigh. So it's not really anything to do with triangle pose yet. It's, it's sort of a, a sitting back one-legged <laughs> squat with the other leg sort of resting down in a straightish fashion towards the ground in front of you. Now, the advantage of having that, that'll be hard work for your back leg, but the advantage of having that is that you can, with your hand, you can feel how soft the front of the leg is, and you can encourage a bit more distance between you and that foot, so the hip can sit back, which is kind of essential if you want to have weight on the back foot when you straighten it. So, if you can get that leg to relax back, you might need an active foot still, so that it's not just heavy into the heel. But um, if you can get the leg to relax back with a touch of that heel, then what you have is a prop that you can lean your weight into. And when you use the back leg to straighten up, there's no reason for pushing your weight forward again which is what causes the hip to uh, tighten up. So this becomes, the thigh bone becomes a prop. The sacrum can sit on the back heel. And if you can release your weight and breath, then you'll be supported on the inside. And then using the back leg to straighten up, you shouldn't swing this front leg hip forwards. Instead, it becomes your prop that you rely on. For support. So you get the sense of being supported without having to brace around this hip. You can rest your weight down through the feet and provided you're not lifting, you rest your weight down through the feet and the feet catch your weight. Which leaves you free to move in space to some degree. Okay. Uh, apologies for the lag in the camera. It might make things look a bit confusing, but um, anyway. Yes, ho hopefully uh, um, that will give you something to play with in your triangle-based postures. I'm going to do the... Uh, let me just change back cameras. Uh, I'm, I'm going to do the rest of it uh, for uh, my, my premium members. Um, because if you then lift yourself into the triangle position, then you will have um, kind of buggered up all your support, so your hips and everything will brace up again, your hips and your spine. The, the li it's, uh, lifting yourself in, into space to make a shape means that when you get there, you have to hold yourself in space, which is the opposite of... Uh, Comfort, comfortable seat. It's the opposite of release. It's the opposite of what I consider to be a true yoga posture, where where you can let go into what you're doing, breathe, release, and it becomes an expression of the human being rather than a shape that you're holding using your body. You know. So um, anyway, uh, my opinions aside, that should feel nice in that front leg hip. The movement into space is uh, another thing. It's, it's to do with your relationships to space, which I will cover in the full version of this of this uh, Yoga Solutions class for my premium members. Talking of which, um, it's still dirt cheap to become a silver member. It's still dirt cheap to become a gold and platinum member, where you get uh, quite a, uh, serious benefits. There's um, so much stuff on offer there for people for de dedicated yogis that really want to go deep into things um, um yeah everything's still at dirt cheap price i've left it that like that for years now um in order to make it available to anyone that is on the yoga path and i know how tricky um making money is when when you're uh, uh, dedicated to your yoga it's not the easiest thing to do um so I kept it cheap, but um, I, I've got 
those of you that have found me already, uh, I'm going to keep it. Your, your, your uh, membership costs will remain as cheap as they are for the rest of your life, provided you stay um, as a member. But um, before September, my prices will go up enormously uh, to, to an appropriate level, you know, where, where you're actually paying for, for what I'm offering. Um, it, it's just the way, it, it, because I, I want to work with people that want to work with me. And if you've found value, uh, you still have a few weeks, um, the rest of this month and probably large part of August, to lock to sign up for one of my premium memberships and whatever you sign up for um uh, that price will be locked in for as long as you want to sustain the membership you can always uh cancel it at any time but um after mm, uh, end of august uh, beginning of september um to sign up it will be uh, a proper price you know uh, i haven't worked out exactly how much but appropriate for uh, what's on offer okay so um yes uh, I'll, I'll be doing i'll be doing a little mail out to to people on, um uh, that i have on my list just to you know uh, to get anyone that has been thinking about it uh, to um, take advantage of the current prices um but um yeah i want to i want to get on with teaching people that want to work with me so uh, this is a way of doing it Okay, so uh, yeah, that'll do for for now. Um, silver silver members of my website and beyond, uh, I'll be uh, there'll be a, a fuller class on the Yoga Solutions list um, later on today. All right, much love to you. I shall see you same time, same place next week.